I, I grew up in Nottingham in the north of England. There was a, um, a crop of birch trees very close to where I grew up. The wood is really white, you know, the bark is really white, and then you've got those striations of black in the white bark, and then the leaves are bright orange. It's just so beautiful and so tranquil. I'm Brendan Collins, chef and owner of Birch Restaurant in Hollywood, and I've been a chef for 22 years. A lot of kind of the classic European cuisines are kind of based around that Mediterranean style, small plates kind of picking and eating. And I think everybody's so used to and enjoys eating that way that it was just kind of a, an easy transition for us to do. I think it takes away the kind of stuffiness of dining. How many times have you gone to a restaurant, ordered something, somebody at the table has ordered something completely different and you've gone, fuck, I should have ordered that. You know, whereas when you share plates and you kind of just order a you know, a bunch of different things and you all kind of share on it. It just engages, people engage more. So I wanted it to be more of a kind of a gathering place rather than, a, than a, just an eating destination. So I looked to the Mediterranean for inspiration and, you know, I was looking at baklava as a dessert, really. That just got me kind of thinking, how could we make that dessert savory? So this is a dish that's uh, kind of a speciality for us over at Birch. It's called a rabbit baklava. So basically what we do is we take phyllo dough, it's kind of a classic uh, Greek pastry. We brush it with uh, clarified butter and we do three sheets of it. It's kind of fiddly because uh, phyllo pastry is really delicate. So you kind of got to work, you got to work fast. And then we got three, three sheets of this, if you can see, it's like really, really thin. So we take our mold, we put it around there. This is uh, white bean puree. So we take a little bit of this and we pipe it in. Then this is the rabbit that's been cooked in uh, duck fat for 12 hours. And then we pick all the bones out, we season it with mustard, chopped herbs, chopped shallots, uh, and then a little bit of the fat. This is a sour cherry puree. What we've got now is layers. We've got layers of bean puree, we've got layers of rabbit meat, and then we have a layer of the cherry. So now we're gonna fold it. So fold this over. All right, so next part of the dish is uh, we got to cook it. We basically are going to saute it until it's crispy. We're going we're gonna to brown the entire thing, so it's going to be nice and golden brown. The actual meat from this itself, it gets put in a salt cure uh, for three days and then washed and then slowly cooked for 18 hours. So you're always working four days in advance. Now you can see how crispy it is. So now we're going to pop it in the oven just so that we can get it nice to the inside nice and hot then we're going to start cooking these so this is our rabbit loin this is our rabbit chops we'll put a little salt not too much because they've already been brined and rabbit rabbit is one of those meats where you don't need to cook it very much it's not like chicken where you need to cook it well done we want to do the same with the cherries so then we're just cooking kind of everything in one pan so basically all we're going to do now is just baste this in its butter Get some nice flavor in there. We're gonna make it look pretty. This is yogurt. There's, there's a lot of fat in, in the whole dish. So you would think adding more fat to it would be a, a bad idea. But the reality is that because it's got living culture and living bacteria, it actually helps you digest it. Smudge that there. We put our rabbit, got our carrot. We use the carrot as like the pedestal. Cherry. And this is a uh, chili pepper called wow. Espelette, which is a Mediterranean chili pepper. We're just going to put that there like that. A little piece of rabbit. These are uh, pickled mustard seeds. This is uh, mustard greens or mustard frill. So we add that on there just to uh, tie in with the mustard. Really nice quality olive oil. And that is our rabbit baklava. You know, I think it's very, very important that food looks very sexy. Consistency, I think, is key. There's nothing worse than going to a restaurant one night and going, wow, that was a fantastic meal. Uh, you tell all your friends, you go back for a meal a month later, and you're like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? This was fantastic a month ago, now it's fucking dog shit. I want customers to leave happy. That's the most important thing. I want them to say that they've been to Birch restaurant, they've eaten great food, they've enjoyed the flavors, they've enjoyed the textures, uh, but most of all, that they've enjoyed the experience altogether. Hey, I'm Josh Clements here at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to The Hundreds YouTube to watch more exclusive content below. And check out thehundreds.com for the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.